So to take our soil aggregate stability samples, we're gonna use a shovel and we're only gonna go into the top two inches of soil. We wanna take our measurements in the top two inches of soil because that really helps us capture the impact of management on aggregate stability. So to do this, we're gonna take our shovel and we're gonna push it straight down in the soil. What we're trying to do here is pull a plug of soil out that's more or less intact. So we're gonna cut four sides here. Each side is, I don't know, three inches long or so. And then we're gonna come in at an angle, try to lift this out. There we go. So we have our soil knife here. We're gonna measure down about two inches. And we're just gonna try to cut that part off and put it into the bucket. Then we're gonna go get two more in this field and we're gonna walk about 10 steps out from this point, uh, which may gives us about a 15 foot radius circle. So now we've got our three aggregate stability plugs, which is about this much soil in the bucket. And so what the lab's really gonna be looking for are soil aggregates. So aggregates look like that, uh, about pea-sized aggregates. That's what the lab's gonna be looking for. So we wanna make sure that we're pretty careful with these because aggregates can be really fragile and we want them as many as we can to make it to the lab intact so that we get the best data that we can. So we're gonna to try to be gentle with this, putting it into the sample bag. And when we pack these bags, what we might wanna do is actually put these aggregate stability samples on the interior of the box and those soil core samples on the exterior. That way they're a little insulated. You wanna make sure they're not rolling around when you ship them or being crushed or anything. Now in very heavy, very clayey soils, we would want to actually pick those aggregates out by hand, but there's another video that shows how to do that. So there we go. There's our aggregate stability samples.